Hey, what's up, guys? Michigan Custom Craft Works. Welcome back to the leather shop. Um, whew, Friday, November 8th, 2024. Love me Fridays. Some TGIF. Man, it has been a week. Busy in the shop. Busy week in the world. And, uh, yeah, so shop update um working on eight guitar straps gonna do uh four dark brown four black um this is very uh intricate cuts and a tedious process and putting this together so i don't know if you guys can see but i've had to drop in a groove line around here because this is going to be layered and see that i got this uh this uh checkerboard type pattern along where the guitar strap billet slots are going to be for the oblong holes to uh, feed the strap through so with without it just being glued and then stitched along the borders here on the sides on the very edge this will all be loose if not stitched in around because the bottom side of this after i leather dye it is going to be swayed with a piece of padding and so I've had to do that literally with all of them to drop my groove line stitch on the perimeter of the border all along and around the side here and then do this groove line uh, template for the whole cutouts on each and every one of these um, these are my patches for the logo on my maker stamp for the bottom underside of the suede that is going to be applied um, going to be stitched in so I got them all ready to be leather dyed there's four of them here for the black ones for for the brown so um this is the guitar strap billet and again i've had to do that with these too will you see there on the oblong punch that uh that diamond shape groove line and the down there at the uh at the slot for the uh the base of the guitar where it attaches at the base of the guitar i've had to do it for all four of them i haven't even done the black ones yet because i need to get going on this to leather dye these first four and then uh just kind of get it going from there so um also gonna be doing over the weekend uh there's gonna be a wristlet small purse uh with the alligator skin the sand saddle tan orange color uh project that i've been working on this customer um resubmitted another custom order to uh finish out the gator hide that i've been working on um, he basically said, you know, with the last two and a half feet, let's make two more products. So we've done a belt and the small purse. So that will be probably uploaded either Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's the shop updates. Um, the topic for this video, I wanted to talk about um somebody had asked me 
and said, you know, kind of, you know, with all your knowledge and now that, you know, you're uh, doing this professionally, like what, what do you feel is, is missing? What do you feel like you wish you had um, early on in your beginning uh, phase of leather craft? And um, this is uh, going to be titled The Element Lacking in Leather Craft is training and training is a big one because whether you're in urban suburban out in the country um you know doing this kind of work um you know that's why i admire the trade so much with like uh plumbers uh electricians construction workers hvac guys because they go to trade school and you know they you know get their their uh, certificate their license they go through an apprenticeship which is like four or five years then it's like another two or three years to become a journeyman and then they go on like you know another two years to get their masters and it's just an extensive amount of training um you know with this type of craft it really needs to be some kind of book work and um hands-on because you know these these uh leather trade shows i mean some of you guys have may have been to them some of you guys have obviously heard of them but uh wrote down just a couple just to name a couple of the big ones uh rocky mountain leather show uh, that starts back out in like spring, like April or May. Um, another one is uh, the Boot and Shoe in Brooklyn, New York. Um, just had a guy that I watch, uh, Steve Beatles Leatherwork. He just competed and uh, got second place. So congrats, Steve. Um, if you guys, he uh, does some major and awesome restorations so please subscribe to his channel feel free to check him out um i feel like uh in the leather community the us that are doing this professionally and have you know youtube channels and our content creators we should really be supporting each other um i i think he knows of me but i don't think he watches my content so um you know if you want to say that i sent you over that's cool but i don't think he knows who i am so um the Pedalton leather show uh too just uh was in uh, october and i think it's the southwest saddle makers it's either in oregon or utah and then the big uh luxury one every year is the uh anta prima which is in Milan, Italy, and that one is like people all over the U.S., Canada, um, South America um, go there because they really have some awesome stuff. But, um, you know, there's a couple of YouTubers, big ones that you guys, I'm sure, watch and know. Um, Don Gonzalez and Aaron Heiser from Maker's Leather Supply. Um, they live close to each other, so they're able to collaborate and, you know, Don's been doing this 20, 25 years, um, is an awesome saddle maker and, and, uh, tooler, um, with, you know, the veg tan leather and stuff like that. And I'm sure you guys, you know, know him and feel fr free to subscribe to their channels too, because they don't know who I am. So, um, but again, I feel like we should be supporting each other and, uh, you know, we're kind of a small craft niche community and, uh, we should really be, uh, supporting each other and whether we are big or small. And, um, there's another couple channels out there, um, Spring Bach Company, Leather Company. Um, her name is Helene uh Helene and uh Ryan from Little King Goods um they make some awesome uh custom builds uh some nice leather projects feel free to subscribe to their channel too um they collaborate they live in Toronto Canada 
Um, so they are close to each other to where they, you know, um, you know, I'm sure uh, Ryan's mentored her and she makes awesome bags, guys. So uh, feel free to check her channel out. She does some really nice uh, custom leather builds. But, um, you know, the, the thing of it is, is to find a mentor. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to my mentor. His name's David Crane. Um, hey, Dave, if you're watching, uh, you know, I appreciate everything that you've done, shown me over the years. Um, Dave's been in the craft uh, 15 plus years and is an awesome craftsman and is an awesome artesian. So, um, you know, he's taught me everything I know. So again, Dave, thanks so much. I really appreciate, um, you know, all that you've done and, and taught me over the years in my career. So, um, but yeah, just to uh, find a mentor to really, um, I think that's really where the leather craft community is lacking that we're not really you know, we're not that niche together that uh, I feel like that's the real big thing that's lacking. There's a lot of good talent and there's a lot of um, interesting talent with whether you're a saddle maker, you're a craftsman, you're an artesian, um, you know, you're a tooler, you're a painter, you're, you know, um, I've seen some of these guys that they just, you know, can, you know, to a lot of belt freestyle it and, you know, put some resolution on it and totally just, you know, paint up a belt, you know, with the, the acrylic paint and, uh, you know, just make it a, basically a piece of art. It, it really is. This is a, there is a art and a science to this because, you know, these are animals that, you know, once lived, a cow or whatever, and uh, deer skin or rabbit fur or whatever, goat skin. And, um, you know, we're turning these into, you know, custom made goods. And uh, really, I just believe that um, that's the part that's missing. That, yeah, you, know, you know, I'm sure if you reached out to any of these channels, ask them a question, you know, on their channel or whatever, they would be more than happy to help. But, um, you know, I know people that there isn't a vendor leather store near them to where, you know, they can, you know, ask a store associate or ask somebody in there that's, you know, uh, tinkering around the workbench area or whatever that's trying to, you know, put something together or whatever. And I just think, um, you know, if we were more closely, closely knit together as a leathercraft community, that, you know, that training and people would get better, um, their skill set would improve. That, uh, there's a lot of stuff I've watched probably over 10,000 YouTube leathercraft videos guys and over the years and I it's just like oh my gosh like I've seen some pretty pretty bad stuff so um and some of my content if you guys want to go back like a year and a half um it's just stuff that you know I did that I never I never sold or I never pushed it because, you know, one, that's your reputation, what you put out there, um, what you make that, you know, holds your name. So I just was like, that was, I was all in the early stages of this as a hobby. Um, this never was my full income or uh, a business that I was running. So, um yeah, just training, the lack of training in leather craft and really to find a mentor. I know some people that they have to buy all their leather and stuff online because the nearest leather store is, you know, 150 miles away. They live out in the country and town is 45 minutes. And the leather shop that does sell stuff, hardware, supplies, leather material, you know, it's, it's two and a half hours from them. And 
the just the resource isn't there so um really that's all i have to say on this one um have an awesome weekend guys michigan custom craft works and i'm out um also feel free to check out our website micustomcraftworks.com we uh have a blog um check out our shop and there's also a donation button um any donations go back into the channel i'm trying to upgrade some software and camera equipment um to make better content for you guys so um you know what two bucks four bucks it's a cup of coffee at starbucks guys i re would really appreciate it um michigan custom craft works i'm out have a good weekend guys